Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island here, back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advanced. We're still in the Magitech Factory! So, I saved, I shuffled through some relics real quick, um, used a tent. Let's head on back out here and, uh, it's so sad, these guys just left in the trash? That's, that's awful. Whoa, sir, that was unnecessary. I was trying to check on you. So here's the thing. We're going to fight Ifrit and Shiva. Um, real quick, Ifrit has 3,300 HP. He's weak versus ice, obviously. Nothing to steal. He and Shiva cycle out. Shiva has 3,000 HP. Obviously weak versus fire. Uh, again, nothing to steal. So just sort of unload on these guys. Uh, fucking Savin, don't fucking attack. I should not have put the Black Belt on Savin. Oh my god, I did not expect that to do that much damage. Uh, you can use Celeste's Runic ability here. I'm not gonna bother with it. Because the Tunnel Armor Battle, like I said in that episode, was pretty much the only time I use, um... You can change people's equipment in battle by doing this, too. If I didn't sell his equipment. Oh my god. Whatever, it's fine. We're gonna do Burning Fist. Have him do the chainsaw. Don't bother trying to steal, it's not worth the time. If we defeat him fast enough, we might not even get to fight Shiva. Insta kill's not gonna work against him, obviously. Okay, here comes Shiva. I'm gonna have Celeste heal everybody. You don't have uh, fire magic yet, so we're just gonna do this. Chainsaw. Just whittle them down. Uh, it shouldn't take too long at the level we're at and having the chainsaw. Which is so much freaking damage. Uh, you can equip Flame Tongue to Celeste for this fight if you want to. Just make sure not to use it against, um... E okay, so when you've got this, you know that you've, you've beaten them. Hey, you guys attacked me first. That's all there is to it. Oh, that's awful. Well, we're here to save you. That's why Ramu sent us here. Come here and talk to Shiva. Oh, that's... that sucks. Okay. So. So you get two of pretty much the most iconic Final Fantasy summons, Shiva and Ifrit. You have to get Shivas to get through the door. You can ignore Ifrit. Don't do it. Don't Just don't. Uh, because once people are done learning the espers they've got, I fucking hate to keep on with these shitty espers, to be honest. Uh, look at this. Fira? Drain? Yeah. Well, Drain's not all that useful, let's be honest. Oop. Blizzard? Does a 10% learn, or a times 10 learn rate? And he can learn Cure from her? Yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and give him Shiva. It's fine. Uh, I will go back later and everybody will learn everything eventually. But that will probably be done with leveling off-screen, because that takes a very long time. You finished learning Siren? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you Efrit because you'll learn him pretty quick. 
And we're going to leave Celeste with Karen right now because we're still trying to get her to finish learning Kira. Although there is an Esper later we'll get that has Kira. You can save after that battle if you want to. I'm not going to bother. Head through the door that she was in front of. Get into extra fights. Uh, I don't know if these guys are a big deal or not. Auto crossbow. Thunder. Probably could have just used Thunder and done the same thing, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Seven learned slow. And did I not change out what Esper he was? I did not. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him. Because he was learning this, he'll learn fire faster here. He'll learn it in one more battle. He needs a high potion then. Okay. So, keep you way up the stairs here. Ugh. If we didn't get caught on these trappers, we'd get through here faster. We're just gonna have Locke blow these guys up. Uh, if any level 5 death, if any of your party members are level 5 or a multiple of level 5, and that hits you, that's an instant death. Right now I think everyone's level 21 and 22, so no problem there. Get up the stairs. Fight more things. General should be no big deal at this point. Thundara. Just destroy them all. Onion Knights don't pose a threat. Uh, what Thundara won't kill, Chainsaw probably will. Oh, never mind. Locke's got this. And we got a green cherry. And out. Okay, Magic Research Facility. Uh, these don't look like anything we've been fighting. Don't know if these guys are weak against anything. Let's try fire. Eh. Fire does some damage to him, so that's good. The little word bubble above Savin's head means that he has silence, if it wasn't obvious. You guys are smart. You know what it is. It's a pretty common status effect. Attacks are doing shit all nothing, but we're gonna keep doing them. Oh my god, they got that that spell that just guy just blah, blah. that spell that guy just did is very similar to the Shamish here that one of your other enemies will use later on or earlier on. Devise the new blitz technique. Let's take a look. So blitz. Right, left, right, left, down, up, down. Restore some HP to all other party members. I will try and remember that one exists. I want to say there's something down here. Ugh. These guys again. Yeah, chainsaw, one of them. And, damn it. And Meteor Strike, the other one. It's not enough to kill it, but... Try again without the insta-kill, Edgar, thanks. Got it. And Lock learned Blizzard as quickly as that. Maybe it's down. Ugh, I'm so tired of these fights. Let's see how effective Blizzard is. It's probably not effective at all. Eh. 
Uh, a quick note about... Let's use Bioblaster. About Celeste's Runic ability. If she uses that ability and anybody else in your party tries to cast a spell, she's going to absorb it. So, that Runic Blade works against both sides. Gonna heal up a bit. Alright. I thought there was something back over here, but there is not. So, okay. Continue on. Nothing up there we can get. Aha! Stone Blade. That's where it is. Whoops. Don't know if there's something she can equip or if it's better. It is better. Uh, May cast Break upon striking enemy. Which I believe Break is an insta-kill. Nothing we can do up here with these weird glass jars everywhere. Yeah, we'll have her cast fire. And we're gonna have block cast fire too. Auto crossbow. The three combined might destroy them. So Celeste did more damage because her magic ability is higher. Re-raise. Oh, so what re-raise is is you. Well, a monster will cast it on themselves, and if you kill them, it will come back. Uh, that is a spell you get later. Spoilers. It's a good spell. Whoa! Guile! What the hell are you doing in this game? Ugh, I thought I fought him and not more random monsters. And the same technique as last time. Just fire. Everybody fire. Except Edgar, who doesn't know fire yet. Or does he? Edgar might actually know fire already. I can't remember. Okay, so make sure you're healed up before you go fight this guy. See, let's give Edgar a potion. Otherwise, we should be okay. But because he's standing here, you guys know what he is. He's a boss. This guy is, this piratey looking motherfucker, is number 24. Uh, he has 4,777 HP. You can steal a blood sword or a rune blade from him. He uses a special attack we're gonna have to watch out for here in a minute. Oh shit. Forgot he can cast confusion. Um let's try and steal from him. Got the rune blade, that's nice. Maybe we can get that blood sword too. We're gonna go ahead and have Celeste attack Edgar and break him out of that confusion, because it's fucking annoying. Uh fuck. He just meteor striked himself, but it got him out of confusion too. Chainsaw. Uh, your physical attacks are not supposed to do a whole lot of um, damage against the enemy. However, Chainsaw is still super effective. Okay, this thing. Barrier change. It's his cha It's him changing his elemental weakness. We're gonna fucking ignore that and just attack him. <laughs> because it is very difficult to judge what his current elemental weakness is. You can Meteor Strike him. You can't Meteor Strike everything. Okay, so he's casting Fireball. Means he is weak against ice. Wait for him to attack you. Edgar doesn't have ice yet, but we're gonna go ahead and use Edgar to cure everybody. Okay, so we don't know what his new elemental weakness is. We're gonna go ahead and cast Kieran. So he's using Thunder. 
don't remember. I think he's weak versus earth spells. We don't have any earth spells right now. So we're just going to continue with the, the attack. He's changing his barrier again. He'll do this three times in a row and then have sort of like a weird error. Where he futzes out and starts casting all sorts of weird shit. System error, here we go. Sunbath will heal him. Not for a whole lot. We can do more damage in one round easy. Especially with this chainsaw. There he goes. Um, if you use a lot of magic, barrier change will cause you problems because he's such a bitch. Don't know why he's such a bitch, but he is a bitch. And we got an ice brand for that fight. Which, like the flame tongue, is a, um, whoa. Are these all espers? Oh, that one's a pony! Some of these might look familiar uh, if you've played the game before, or if you haven't and you just know your Final Fantasy summons. Wow, okay. Uh, let's let them free, because this is bullshit. Oh, okay. Sorry we didn't get here earlier. Who is... It's Sid! That's... Magicite. Sir, why are you freaking out? They can. Is the key word here. Yes. A creature's dying breath is apparently... And yet we get six new Magicite. It doesn't tell us who. We'll find out here in a few moments. And Celeste knows this guy. Who are these shady characters? Your underlings? Oh, Sid, no. And Locke starts freaking out. Uh, Sid didn't do shit. Hell no, they're mine now. These are my dead espers, you can't have them. Locke, you dumbass. Oh, how is that so me? So here's the thing, guys. I believe it was the Final Fantasy VI Ultimanium Guide that mentioned the original idea behind Celeste was going to be she was going to be a traitor. Not to the Empire, but to us. Um, and that much of the game would end up being like a redemption arc for her. However, it's not quite how this worked out. Things changed in the planning periods. And yeah, these guys just like annihilate us. Of 
Girl, what you gonna do? Uh, yeah, what are you doing? Okay, what the fuck was that? So, yeah, Celestia saved us. She wasn't a traitor, you dirtbag. Uh, Celestia saved everybody's asses. What's bad? Okay. I would think them breaking out of them would have done that. Quick, over here. So, follow him onto this platform, and he's gonna help you get out of here. Yeah, what have you done? Sir, you've been doing this for like 20 years. Well, you know, they don't say exactly how long they've done it, but around 20 years. Good luck with that. Okay. See a save point over here? Guess what that means? Means we are going to finish this up in the next episode. Because I'm certain we are almost at the 20 minute mark right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save. Thanks for watching guys. We'll pick it up in the next one. Bye.